Hey guys, what's going on? We're back with some more Master Duel content. Today we'll be showcasing you Ghost Tricks for Halloween. Uh, sorry if I coughed during this video. Um, I am still recovering from COVID, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this deck. This is uh, pure Ghost Tricks. After Halloween, we'll go uh, showcase you guys uh, the Haram or the sad or the not real Ghost Tricks, right? But this is real ghost tricks and this is the pure form of it this is how they play uh, basically is a deck that uh, wants to control the fort wants to control the board by flipping the opponent cards down and then attack them directly using the field spell and uh and slowly chip, chip them away after they are locked down with um uh, ghost tricks scare plus combination of knight so nut scare flips them down and then night when you control a ghost trick monster um they the things that are the opponents flipped cards can never come back up so when you ghost trick lock them and then you have the spell the field spell of the mansion it allows uh if they if you have face down monsters you can attack directly so um yeah the, that's basically the deck for ghost tricks um yeah that is that is it so for the main deck we have two lanterns so these guys cannot be normal summoned but they can be played face down okay and this one has an effect of uh, they all have the effect that you can flip them down afterwards but this card's effect is when a opponent's monster declares a direct attack or when a ghost trick monster you control is a targeted for attack you can negate the attack and you do special summon this card in face down defense position really nice uh ghost trick specter this one allows you to when a ghost trick monster is destroyed by a card effect or by battle and sent to the graveyard can special summon this card from your hand which is nice uh mary you can discard this uh when you take damage you can discard this card and then you can special summon one ghost trick monster from your deck which is nice two maxis ghost trick doll once per turn you can change this oh no this that's the first effect, which is to change the face down. And um, the second effect is when this card is flipped face up during the end phase, change as many face up monsters on the field as possible to face down posi uh, position. Then you can special summon one ghost trick from a deck in face down position, which is really nice. And then fairy, when this is flipped face up, you can target one ghost trick card in your graveyard, set that card, but banish it when it leaves. Then you can change face up monsters your opponent controls to face up the face down defense position up to the number of set cards you control which is uh which enforces the ghost trick knight you know and then we have jiang si which is when this card is flip summon you can add from your deck to one one ghost trick monster whose level is equal or less than the number of ghost tricks you control which is a really nice search and basically you just want to search basically the deck is you want to search 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 until you can uh, and hope to not die and stall until you set up the the win condition with Ghost Trick Knight plus Scare plus t there can only be one. And um, we have Mummy. This allows the normal summon twice. And then we have Ghost Trick Siren. This is one of the new cards. This allows us when if this card is normal summon, we'll flip face up, send the top two cards on the deck. And if they are Ghost Tricks, you can apply the one of these effect, which is add one spell track from the deck. Or change one effect monster to uh, face down. Then we have terraformings, uh, polar desires, uh, ghost trick shot, which allows us to special summon one ghost trick, uh, then change one ghost trick to face down, and then you can banish this card, then target one ghost trick SD, then you can attach one ghost trick stuff. It's a really, really good card. Um, we have parade, it's another field spell. This one allows you to, when your opponent attacks you directly, you take no damage. And then you can add one ghost trick card. And then we have mansion, which is the wound condition. Uh, you take half damage. Both, every, both players take half damage and they can attack through face down. I mean, no, no, you take half damage, but your opponent takes full damage from ghost trick monsters. Ghost trick scare, which is to flip your uh, opponent's cards face down. We have quake to also flip things face down. And then we have Ghost Trick Renovation. This will allow us to recycle uh, field spells, which is nice. Solemn stuff, uh, Ghost Trick Knight, and there can be only one. We have Utopic Draco Future, Dulu Hand, Lyrilus, 
Sucutibus, Alucard, Jaja to go into Zeus, download Zeus, and then for the links we have Salomon Great, uh, uh, Alan Mirage. I would have two festivals, it's really good to search for your ghost tricks. And then we have Boros Sword. This can be also access code too. But yeah, this is how this is the general pure deck. This is probably the best pure deck you can play. There are other stuff you can do with this, such as go into mill and uh, and more stooly shenanigans. But I feel like this is the most pure form you can play and the most, uh, you know, as interactive as possible. But it's not that good, guys. You will lose a lot of games. You can get to diamond if you play this a lot, but the games are extremely long and you have to play your trap cards extremely well um, to win the games. But uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get straight to the gameplay. So here's the first game. Um, I'm gonna show you some games that are questionable <laughs> at best to show you the power of the deck. I really don't think it's that powerful. Uh, it's really hard to pilot and uh, yes and they kind of have to be... Uh, I, I know a lot of one or two people have climbed this deck to diamond but it is extremely difficult and a lot of things have to go pretty well for you by the way um, yes um, so this guy is playing fluffles which is interesting we have a doll doll won't do much until the end phase with where we'll flip it then we'll play a spectre I think we'll probably go into Ghost Trick Siren and end our turn. And the games are very, very long, so grinding this deck to Diamond is particularly very hard. You can get squeeze out wins uh, against really strong decks, but uh, not too sure. Not really too sure. We use Lantern to negate the attack uh, so it doesn't destroy our thing. And then we'll flip those two up, go into Lyrilus, assemble Nightingale. This will, this is a way to chip them down a little bit um, for 800 and then also potentially go into Downward into Zeus. There is another way to go into Zeus as well from using um, rank 3's Jar Jar. Oh wait no, Jar Jar is for Utopic Draco Future. Uh, this is the best way for you to go into Zeus with the level 1 because it allows you to attack directly and the Nightingale cannot be destroyed. He goes into Fright for Fusion, very scary, but it's only Daredevil, so this is not play. He's playing roughly pure Fluffles, so he's playing a cute C deck as well. And we go into the Zeus effect, which will, um, which will send every card to the graveyard. Now we will win with Zeus, I guess. <laughs> and he um, scoops from there, which is. Uh, a miracle in itself actually but as you can see if you use your extra deck stuff uh, stall for long enough you uh, you can control the board long enough to be able to get off your high power extra deck stuff or like get into the ghost trick win condition which is like I said have the enemy cards be flipped down and then you attack directly with mansion but uh, yeah that's uh, basically what you want to and this is the last game this will showcase you the that win condition the, go the, the ghost trick win condition of you know having their cards flipped down and you're slowly beating them down with ghost trick mansion this is a really great trick or treat deck for sure i'm sure your opponent will really enjoy it as how how much i enjoy playing this deck as well it's <laughs> it's kind of fun like the deck feels quite strong in the sense that you search really really hard search really fast but it just i feel like it just does not have enough interruption against top tier decks but it can do decently well you can see i scare him i get off this will allow us to use the flip effect of siren to get the mansion this is where we'll start pinging him down <laughs> um, <laughs> yes this is where we gotta start pinging him down with the ghost trick mansion see i'm flipping that up gonna summon the <laughs> these guys are the strongest guys possible 1500 800 damage attack him directly in mean phase two we flip them back down again so <laughs> 
<laughs> we do full damage to them, and when they attack us, they don't do full damage, so... Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty good. He, d he forgot to flip his face down card down, but I mean up again, so we just get free reign of uh, just flipping up again, going for the surge. Knight, this time we want to go for the knight here, so that he, his flip down cards will not go, and this time I'm just going to try to end the game as quickly as possible, so I summon my lantern instead of using its effect. Um, and yeah, main phase 2, we, we forget to go to defense position. Uh, but that doesn't matter because we have the knight, unless he summons a monster. But this is basically what you want to do. You want to control the board in a set, in a way. But this guy's kind of throwing, so I don't know if this really showcases you anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is generally how the deck wants to play, and you want to just attack them like this uh, and control the board. But if you did play, I feel like I had a really good chance uh, of winning the game with the there can only be one, and also. Uh, uh, Ghost Trick Scare and also all the Ghost Trick Store monster cards. Uh, I feel like uh, I would have won that game regardless if you tried, uh, <laughs> if you even tried. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you try Ghost Tricks question mark for Halloween. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can show you case you the the badass version, the Haram version, where it's running like literally eight Ghost Trick monsters. And uh, yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.